Yo, my peoples, what's up? Welcome to the One Stop Co-op Shop. Jason here, and today I have a playthrough of Urbion. Urbion is a solitaire card game. This is a two-player mode, but today we're going to show you the solitaire version. It is from Shadi Torbay from Z-Man Games, and if it's a Shadi Torbay game, it is an Oniverse game. You may not be as familiar with uh, Urbion as with the other products because it is out of print and it is uh, before the deluxe editions came out. As you could see, I'm showing you the box. This is an older box. Oh, look at that. Uh, probably should put Z-Man the right way up. Oh, wait, there's two Z-Mans. <laughs> there you go. Uh, so this product is actually out of print. You can trade for it. That's how I got it. I traded for it. Uh, I'm looking forward to a possible reprint. Uh, there's been rumors of that, but we'll see. Uh, I'm presenting this playthrough today at a request of a member of our Discord, the One Stop Co-op Shop Discord. Uh, we always interact. We always have fans that are uh, piping up and making suggestions. I've done every uh, Oniverse game as a playthrough on the One Stop Co-op Shop. Uh, so might as well round out the story with Urbion as we wait for a hopeful deluxe reprint uh, and re-release. I mentioned that Discord, the One Stop Co-op Shop, is really, really fun. We have an excellent community of people who are friendly, uh, who talk about older games and newer games. We got the hotness. We got uh, hidden gems. Uh, you know, people who just want to talk about anything they want in the solo and co-op universe. LCGs, uh, the streaming channel, uh, where a lot of the LCGs, especially Marvel, are being played. Steve and Peter uh, do a great job with that. So we have YouTube streamed. We have the regular YouTube channel, which you're on. Uh, subscribe to the video, like, um, or subscribe to the channel. Sorry about that. Like the video. Uh, we also have the podcast. So please go ahead and check out the podcast wherever podcasts are sold. We are a gaming empire for all of your solo and cooperative game needs. All right, so let me do a basic rules overview. The heart of the game is to uh, claim these city cards. These are the city cards. They are represent the central row. You are always going to have four of them, and there is a pile of these. Goal of the game is to claim all these city cards uh, before the deck of main cards run out. There's only two decks in the game. So the city cards are uh, the center and you are going to be establishing the balance between these two. So you have these incubate cards on one side and, uh, and some sogne cards on the other side, uh, basically negative and positive. The original title of the game was Equilibrion, uh, in which uh, which would kind of evoke the sense that you are trying to establish equilibrium between the two sides. I think there was a, a some kind of dispute in terms of the IP. Uh, so they've changed the title to Urbion to reflect the fact that you're going to be capturing these city cards. I have dealt out a initial hand. Uh, so when you deal the game, you're going to be dealing two cards per uh, area. In, at the beginning deal, the symbols don't matter. But as you go through the game, the symbols are going to matter. So here is my hand of cards, and on my turn, I'm going to try to place as many of the, or one of these as possible, and then, you know, over the course of the game, place as many of them and claim cards eventually. So then I could play this three, Incubate would have to go on this side. I could not play it next to this card because the symbol doesn't match. There are four symbols, lightning, clouds, I think this is horizon and wave. Could not play it here, but I could play it over there. Gonna need to do that because I have six over here and I wanna to start to build up uh, this side. That would be my turn. I would draw and then that would be basically <laughs> uh, the, a, a regular turn of Urbion. You have two other options on your turn. You can discard. So let's go ahead and discard. Right now I don't have a lot of balance going on, but uh, my discard allows me to swap two cards in order to manipulate the board and get the balance that I need. I swap these two cards because these are now ones and now I have some balance. So then I will draw another card and pass turn. Another thing that I can do, uh, this would also cost a discard. I can take, I can discard a card and take a uh, balanced cities. I can take as many balanced cities as I want. In this particular case, I only have the one balance and I would claim that city card and then I would get a new card and do the same thing that I did before, which is set up the board with two cards from the top of the deck and then play would proceed. 
So aside from the mathematical challenge that the game uh, provides for you, the main opposition here are eight of these chaos cards. So when you draw a chaos card, uh, whether you're filling your hand or whether you're do, uh, doing the thing where you're refilling after a claimed city card, you must place this card. It is uh, absolutely necessary. So then uh, it has two sides, plus, si plus five and minus five, and it can go anywhere. Uh, it would be nice if I could just choose, and I'll put it here because there's a huge stack over here, but that wouldn't be very chaotic now, would it? It would be a situation where you'd have to put it on the stronger side. So now I would have to match uh, on this negative side <laughs> uh, 13, which is basically impossible uh, for that for uh, the incubate card to match that. So on a future turn, I'd have to swap this around, manipulate it, and try to get the board molded to my advantage. Urbion comes with two expansions, and I'm going to be playing with one of those expansions uh, for this playthrough. This is an arch square. Uh, there are four of these in the deck. As you can see, they absorb any uh, symbol. They're not just uh, not just two symbols. So it's, a, it's, it's four more cards in order to uh, claim, which is you know not uh, not too big a deal. Uh, in order to uh, assist in the fact that you have to claim more city cards, you also have this resource, which are meta cards. Uh, they have two symbols, and you could just choose which one you want to play as you are playing. So you can play it on the negative side next to the cloud or the positive side uh, clouds. And there's, uh, there's versions that have all the four symbols. So it just kind of adds a few more cards, makes the game a little bit longer, a little bit more uh, strategic. They, they disappear into the deck. You don't even notice them. So I'm just going to shuffle those in, playing with that expansion. Another expansion here are the Books of Power. These are alternate discard powers. Uh, so if you want to change up the game flow a little bit, you can add one or more of these. You can actually add a, uh, as many of these as you want, uh, knowing you're going to have to discard some other cards in order to be able to play them. I'm actually not going to show you the, these uh, Book of Power cards in the playthrough because they add a little bit of admin and overhead, and I'd rather uh, have a nice, clean experience for this playthrough of Urbion. But I'm, I'm letting you know that if you wanted to uh, check out the Book of Powers cards, that is another option that is available in the basic box of Urbion. One thing that I forgot to mention, which is one of the most important things before we get started, uh, this is a fresh deal that I'm going to be getting to the playthrough in just a second, but there's a really important rule. So let's say I had four balanced cities and I was able to claim all four of, of cards. That's kind of a shoot the moon aspect. I would be able to claim the four cards and also get a fifth card from this deck. And because there are so many cards, because that is the main win condition, when you can get a free one of these, that is excellent. So that is definitely affects gameplay because you know you don't you definitely don't want to claim one or even two. You want to try to see if you can get four. Uh, balance city so that you can uh, claim that and that really affects um, you know what you play you might want to push your luck to go for that uh, fifth card but you also risk getting the dreaded uh, chaos card so it's a really cool thing that changes up gameplay I wanted to make sure I highlighted that before I began the playthrough proper all right we are ready to begin I have my uh, weighted towards the incubate uh, uh, set over here. I did get a chaos card, but then the chaos card attached over here. That's not bad. It's nice to get a chaos card a little bit early uh, so that I can adjust for it. Uh, seven is not a terrible, um, not terrible to get that. I can I can probably manage that. Okay, so I'm gonna start uh, building that up. We're gonna go over there. Another chaos card. Sweet, and I have to place it on a side uh, if I place it anywhere it has to be on the stronger side so I'm going to turn this around and place that over here a strategy of the game uh, just to let you know uh, I know which cards tend to have which symbols uh, so the incubate have four point cards but they're only in lightning so I like to or the sogne the, the positive cards so whenever I get an incubate uh, or I ever get a chaos card and it's next to this symbol, I like to be able to place it on its incubate side over here because I know I'm gonna get, uh, are likely to get at least a four point Sognate card to balance, so uh, not bad. So that's kind of an advanced uh, little strategy thing once you get to know the cards and the card distribution a little bit. That's not bad, I already have two out of eight and have barely even begun the game. All right, speaking of that, uh, I am going to set up things over here and hopefully I draw that four, which would give me the balance that I need. Okay, all right, so 
I'm getting a lot of uh, incubate cards and good thing I have an imbalanced uh, state over here and I think I can manage to fill that up to seven and go with that. Hey, look at that. You see? Uh, so I am going to take advantage of that right away. Uh, another thing I probably should have mentioned was there is a maximum of three. I can't just extend this infinitely, which is why I framed the camera that, uh, in the way that I framed it. Only three cards uh, on each side. Okay. Uh, I'm feeling pretty good as long as I don't get a chaos card. I think I can make a run towards some pretty good balance. All right. So that is six over here, seven over here. So this is balanced and I'm working on this. Uh, this one is spoken for, so I'm gonna try to uh, keep that going. Ooh, this is nice because I have the flip card and I can choose where to place this when I place it. I don't have to choose right now. So I wanna take this one right there. I now have two balanced cities, seven to seven, and then up, oh, same thing, seven to seven. All right. So I now continue to have uh, I would, oh, look at that. I have a pretty good balanced uh, hand. <laughs> uh, that doesn't count for anything, but at least I have uh, options, uh, th things that I can do. I'm right, going to take this uh, two, and I'm going to put that right there on the cloud space. Okay. And, ooh, lots and lots of incubate cards. I am not a fan of that. Hmm. All right. I am actually going to, because this is an inconvenient card for the current setup, uh, there's no moon except for this uh, all card. I'm actually going to take this card and put it right there. That upsets the balance, but I have a plan. Hopefully the plan... I love it when a plan comes together, but the plan actually has to come together. <laughs> uh, we're going to take this three, and we are going to flop this one and that one. So now we've restored balance. So the balance over here is now eight, and we've uh, gotten this a little bit closer. There are no... Uh, three point clouds on the or three point cards in the um, Sogne side. So getting this side to even numbers uh, gives me a little bit of a better chance. Getting that to four, four is a very easy match for uh, that for the Sogne side. Okay, Oops, look at that. Got the plus two that I needed, and I am going to put that plus two over there. So now I have three balanced cities, and this is going to be a hard trick to pull off. But we're just going to keep on drawing and see what I get. So then I am going to put that four over there. And now this is six and this is five. <laughs> so it gives me a couple of options. So I could put the three over there and the two over there, which would give me the balance that I'm looking for. A chaos card would totally, totally, totally mess me up uh, if I did that. But that is the nature of the game, isn't it? I'm going to shoot the moon and see what happens. Beautiful. All right. So I am going to put that two over there. Uh, and I'm going to hope that the uh, next two cards are not chaos cards. Not a chaos card. I am going to put that three right there. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Not a chaos card, not a chaos card. Yes, 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 I did it. <laughs> I established perfect balance in the realm. So look at that layout. Uh, these are the four city cards. I have five, six, seven, eight. Three, three, two is eight over here. Seven over there. Four, two, one is seven over there. Four and three and one is four over there. Seven over there, or uh, eight over there. Three, three and two is eight. Four, two and two is eight. Whammo. I'm going to claim these four cards and another free city card good uh those are the harder uh, slightly harder ones to match so i now have five city cards claimed that is so excellent when i come back i will have redealt an entire fresh tableau and we are back voila a whole new set of cards this time weighted towards the Sogne. did get a chaos card my third for those counting at home and i got it with a Sogne card so they went together same thing with this meta card uh, the meta card has to, to pair with the uh, Sogne that comes with it so a very weighted towards the Sogne, which is just fine you just saw a layout with the incubate that was heavy that is going to happen that is the essence of keeping the balance in the game okay i do keep my cards unfortunately i have a pretty Heavily, well, not heavily weighted towards the uh, Sogne Eye options. 
So that is a balance, and that is also a balance. Uh, this is gonna be a little bit of a harder trick, but it's next to uh, the meta card. Uh, so they're, they're easier to place cards over here. Okay, I got a moon. That's not gonna help me at all. <laughs> not even a little bit. All right, so let me go ahead and place this wave over here to get that started. And I have another, hmm, actually, okay. Well, I'm gonna put that there and hopefully I get a three to finish that off. That would create some balance uh, right there. So that is not a three, that's a two. Uh, but I can place that two over here and then flop these if I wanted. Actually, even though there's, there's balance over here, I'm gonna put it there. Yeah, that's where it's not ideal, uh, but you know, what are you gonna do? Uh, gotta place them somewhere, right? Oh, good, uh, so there was, that's what I was hoping would happen. I would get a balancing uh, card, so then now I have the balance, five to five, there you go. I have a lot of Sogne cards. <laughs> and no use for them whatsoever, boo! Hmm. Oh boy, and I'm not really sure what I wanna do with that, plus I have uh, not a lot of places for them. I could discard and start to manipulate, but I don't really have a gold towards which I'm working. So eh, I'm just going to place that over there and continue to have to deal with Sogne cards. I'm going to place that moon card over there and just pray that I can get some incubate cards. There's a chaos card uh, that is going to go over here somewhere uh, because that's where all of the weight is. And that is going to go right there. Ugh. All right, and a continued uh, getting of the Sogne cards. So I'm really backed into a corner over here. Uh, so I could keep on, I mean, there's only one slot left. And if you kind of have to uh, claim whatever balance you can when you, whenever the, the board is gunked up like this. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to discard a card, one of these, because I have multiples. And, and do the, the balance, uh, or claim the balance. I mean, I could, like basically what the game tell, uh, would, would have you do is discard and manipulate if there's too much uh, stuff going on. If there was a chaos card, I would have to discard either balance cities or discard from the top of the deck, which is completely and utterly terrible. So instead of all that, I'm just gonna try to get ahead of that at least a little bit, claim the one balance city on the board. Hopefully I get some a little bit of incubate out of that, let's go ahead and refill that. <laughs> ah, I did so good. I did so good getting the running shoot in the moon and then the deck just craps on me. Oh my goodness. And not only that, I got finally get an incubate card, but it's a weenie. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ugh. All right, well, uh, the game is giving me a little incubate love, so I'll take the little bit of incubate love and not complain. Oh, goodness gracious. Uh, there's another uh, nightmare card. This is, I believe, my fifth, if I my math is correct on that, and it has to go once again on the incubate, on the Sogne side. I'm going to mix those up forever. Positive side. <laughs> it has to go here. I'm running into that same issue uh, that I don't have balanced cities to be able to absorb some of the negative card luck. All right, uh, so at the very least, I can start building that up. I can get that to eight. I think if I have a decent run, yep, there we go. A decent little run of, uh, oops. Er, never mind. Uh, this is a line card and there's no line symbol over there. So we're just gonna put that right there. Sorry about that. A little bit of a retcon without having to indicate that. Uh, in the in the notes or whatever that I can do so that's cloud to cloud so that is uh, perfectly fine and that's definitely going to be rotated to that side and that gets me to six over there so I'm starting to get a little bit of a run of balancing cards I'm still kind of in the hole over here so now I have to do a little bit of manipulation all right, so my options are completely terrible, which I'm actually glad to show 
because yeah, <laughs> actually, I'm going to discard this four. I have, I have a feeling I'm going to have zero use for that such a large card on the Sogni side. Uh, so we are going to flop these two at the very least create a balanced city. So that we got three, four, three, four over here. And maybe, maybe I can get two balanced cities out of this while I uh, kind of rebalance my hand. Oh, <laughs> uh, so what it looks like I'm going to end up doing is, and I didn't want to do this, but I'm going to create uh, two very, very large cities. My hope is that I can start to get chaos on the incubate side, finally, uh, so that I can manipulate the board and have like, you know, a couple of very large incubate side chaos to match these and then uh, go about my way. So then I have that. Good, I have a decent size uh, incubate card. Hmm. There is no way I'm going to be able to construct anything that is going to match what is going on here. So I am just going to go to move on and claim these two city cards. Yeah. Gotta do what the game, deal with what the game gives you. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna have to begin building up myself so that I can get that distributed or and at least make powerful matches on one side. Not gonna make a lot of powerful matches with that, am I? <laughs> okay, get that going there. All right, that's not bad. Ooh, there's a four, but that's a one on the weenie side. Uh, it, this would be a really good catch-up card if I needed Sognate cards, but I obviously do not. So I'm going to get rid of this one. Actually, I'm going to get rid of this. Is going to it, I have no room for this because there's already so many these weenie uh, incubate cards, and then get that going to kind of get that go uh, get this a little bit more tempered, just a little bit. Okay, plus two. So just to reset the game state a little bit, um, I am pretty much don't have a lot of dream cards left. I have four more city cards, so I'm not that far away. I think I'm kind of in pace, but I just, I'm, I feel like I'm gonna use too many cards discarding and manipulating and not really progressing where I need to go. I don't know that. <laughs> but at the very least, I think that shooting the moon won't help me. Uh, doing it once is like amazing. If you do it twice, that's basically an auto win. Uh, but I think I'm going to try to be a little bit more um, measured and like a go for the twos and the threes. I think. I'm not really sure. We'll see what happens. Okay, so that's my hand. I'm going to discard that and I'm going to put this one up here. Rain in some of these large piles and I have some uh, strong cards to match up with. I can also use this card and get a balanced city over there. That's five. And I can, I'm very close to uh, getting a, a series of balanced cities, which I'm happy about. Okay, let's get that right there. Ooh, not bad. Okay, I'm going to get rid of this. Ooh, yeah, I get rid of the one. All right, so that is now two bounces. So I have five, six, seven, eight, three, six, eight over there. That's balanced, and I think I can go for one more. And to try to get this two matched up over here, uh, there you go, and I'm going to discard that two to bring that over there. There's no way I'm going to be able to do anything with this, but at least I can claim three on the next turn. Wah, wah. Oh, no. <laughs> Ugh. So I should have known that I was going to get a chaos card towards the end. I have to deal with it, and there are a couple of ways uh, to do it. Uh, I would have to discard cards from a balanced city 
or I'd have to discard from the top of the deck. This, this deck is very, very thin, so I think I'm just going to have to discard from a balanced city. So then I am going to just get rid of these. Boo! All right, and you do not replace them. You just kind of have to build back up again, which is not the worst thing in the world because I noticed that I can get the one over there and I can get a moon over there. And that did set me back a fair amount, but at the very least I did what I wanted to do, which was claim three cities. All right, so I have a nice balanced hand and I only have one more city card left. I have a feeling though that I'm gonna lose. <laughs> Let me just go ahead and finish this out though. So we got the three over there. Okay, uh, oh man, I hate that, that, uh, <laughs> that uh, it's so low on that side. Mm. Let's just go that and do that over here. And I am going to discard a card and claim this balanced city over there. The reason I did that is because I now have zero cards left in my dream deck. I wanted to be able to say that I got to the last four cities. That's it. <laughs> so as you can see, I, I started off really well, but I got hit that middle part where I just got so many, a big chunk of cards, a lot of chaos cards came out at once on the same side. Really what you want to do is you want to set things up so that as much as possible so that these cards are kind of on the different sides and balancing each other, but I wasn't able to do that. So I lost my game at Urbion, but I'm happy with the playthrough because you saw the game. Uh, if you want to go ahead and acquire it, well, good luck. <laughs> but there are copies available for trade on the BGG, on the BGG site uh, for purchase on the BGG store or every, uh, anywhere else you can get uh, used games. Hope you enjoyed that playthrough. Hope you enjoyed your time in the One Stop Co-op Shop. This is Jason reminding you that we'll see you on the next stop.